and in a way, it's kind of my secret to consistently eating healthy and not falling off. Hello, everyone. Good morning. So it's actually Saturday morning. Everyone's still sleeping. Jared loves this mug. Who the hell knows? Now this creamer is so hard for me to find. You have to get it at Target. So it's almond milk caramel. What do you think, babe? Coffee. This is video material. This is video material. Do a show for us. Come on, Magic Mike, you got this. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now we're gonna go hiking. So that is my Saturday morning workout. This is the outfit. Super cute. All right, so we just got to the hike. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want a bird to poop in your car? Whatever. So our weekend routine has been hiking. We did it last weekend and we did it when it was so hot. Oh my god. We almost died. It was like being in a desert. We well we are in a desert. Uh, yeah. And then we went to an open house that was at the end of the hike just because they had water bottles. Stunk it up. Stunk the place right up. We did. They were like, ew, these people. And we're like, hey, we just got done hiking. Lock the door. <laughs> so that's about 9:30. And that should make for a much nicer 924. hike. Yeah. I'm proud of us. So yeah, that's what we do on the weekend. We do a little hiking and it's a way that we can burn calories in nature and it doesn't feel like you're doing a ton of cardio. No, but I will say this one starts all uphill, Drags. sneaks up on you. It kind of gives me muscles. Mine are bigger than yours. Yeah, it's, for sure. It's okay. I'm actually not even flexing. <laughs> this is the uphill Jared was talking about. Oh. Just keeps going on. Just yeah. Badass, no. We're already sweating because we're still uphill. Still it's going. It's been about 15 minutes uphill. <laughs> and we're still uphill. I am trying to take a water break. Yeah, you better. Hydrate. Get a little UV out here. Yeah. Got a guy back there seriously hiking. Wait, what happened? Yeah, that serious hiker back there. Oh, he's pissed. So mad. He's like, this isn't a real hike. Yeah. Me meanwhile, me and you're like, struggling. <sighs> are we almost done? We're we are all done. We're about to go to our favorite little coffee shop that's near the hike. So we just got to the chiropractor. This is another weekend thing that we like to do. Little adjustment, Let's get cracking. <laughs> Gotta take care of those bones. Look straight ahead. Turn to the left. Right. To the left. To the right. So, you can see here, Jared. Sure. Her, her, her hand goes below this. Should be a, a line like that. Uh huh. And she's below. Normal's five degrees, so you're at 10 to 12 degrees. Okay, relax, turn this way. So is that flexible or not? Yeah, it's too, too flexible. Watch your thumb. See that? This is good. <laughs> little finger's good. That's normal. Good job, so, little finger. So, so we have two points here. Two points on this side. Let me see this arm. And she's super hyperextended on this side. Her left knee goes farther back than her right knee. Sure. Just like your knee did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's got a left hyperextended knee. So we were at five, now we're at six points. Okay. Okay, here's the big, here's the finale. Okay, Put your hands to the floor. Yeah. Yeah, right. That's good enough. That's hey guys, so we just got home from the chiropractor and now is my favorite part of our Saturday morning routine and that is protein buckwheat pancakes. So I usually like to make pancakes on the weekends, like real pancakes, not my three ingredient protein pancakes, just because we have more time and it's just so delicious. That's when I'll have a little bit more of an unhealthy breakfast. Not that these are super unhealthy, but you know, more toppings, some maple syrup and that kind of stuff. So we're gonna get to making that right now. Okay, so this is my favorite breakfast at the moment. So it's buckwheat pancakes. And I actually bought this mix from Thrive Market. I showed it in my haul. 
But anyway, what I love about buckwheat is it does keep me full for a long time, and I do feel it's a healthier alternative to regular pancakes. I personally add a scoop of protein powder, as you see me doing there, and that one is flavored peanut butter, so it just gives it an extra nut butter taste. However, you don't have to do that. And you guys know I love my fat, so I do use coconut oil on the pan, and I do one third scoop of mix. I've done a lot of trial and error, and that seems to be the best to get that perfect pancake. Oh my gosh, looking at this, editing this back, I want these right now. They are delicious. Let's try them. Mm, They're so stinking good. So the next part of our morning routine on the weekend is we go and finally use our pool. I feel like we don't use our pool all week. I always go and sit out in our backyard, but we don't actually go in the pool. And I put on a little oil, so Wyatt is naturally licking it off. The suit is really cute. It's from Cotton On. And I like that the top ties in the back, but I kind of want to get a little bit of a natural tan. That's why we're doing strapless today. So we're going to go out by the pool, put on some music. This is like the first weekend me and Jared have to ourselves too, because we usually have friends over, especially having a pool. You, Everyone always wants to hang out here. So it's kind of nice that we're getting some alone time. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love having friends over on the weekend, but sometimes it's nice to just spend one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so it's so where I'm gonna hang out and listen to my new book that I showed you guys in my last video. Feels so good to relax. Hey, buddy. Now we're taking the doggies to the There's park. Plenty of room for your relaxed outdoor tour. Park. You wanna go to the park? Oh my god, you wanna go to the park? <laughs> You start fights. She finds the biggest dog and she starts a fight. Hello everyone, so it's actually the next day and we're in this cute little two-piece set, but just I'm just showing you guys because in case when I'm sitting in the frame it looks strange. Wait, is she not wearing pants? That's why. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know we had a quick little chat. I was walking in my neighborhood just doing my 15 to 20 minute walk. And I popped on and just told you guys that it's something that I've been forcing myself to do because eating healthy comes very easy to me. It's easy for me to stick to a clean, healthy diet but it's not as easy for me to stick to a consistent workout routine. After I said that, a lot of you guys were like, share your secrets, how is it easy for you to eat healthy and eat healthy consistently? Because I think a lot of us can agree that it's easy to eat healthy once in a while, it's just how do you do that consistently, especially in the summertime when there is alcohol, there's chips and dip, there's a lot more food, and I feel like there's a lot more outdoor gatherings. Like, oh, friends are coming over, we're gonna, you know, eat bad, we're gonna eat chips, we're gonna eat lots of desserts. So these are kind of like my top five things that I'm able to stick to that really help me with consistently eating healthy, and I think that they would be helpful to you guys too. The first thing is I do have a strong why, and I don't have a strong why for working out. So it's kind of funny because you see how much that works. Like people are like, you have to have a strong why, and a lot of us are like, yeah, okay, what's the next tip? But that's almost kind of proof that it does work because my why is so strong for the food that I'm putting in my body and it's not as strong for why I'm actually working out and therefore workouts I skip sometimes and eating healthy, I don't skip. So for me, the strong why is that I started associating good food with a good healthy body. So that's mentally, that's physically, that's emotionally. When I eat food that is crappy food maybe it's like packaged like i used to love like packaged dessert chips stuff like that frozen foods i used to love stuff like that i used to love fast food and now when i eat those things i don't feel that good and almost the knowledge side of things just learning more things and staying educated that when you add different herbs into your diet it will do this or if you're constantly drinking water you're going to stay hydrated and it's going to beat the bloat and if you add these ingredients you're going to feel more bloated you know things that are in diet sodas and diet juices and drinks and 
vegan diet foods, you know, the zero calorie stuff, it's going to make you feel like this. So once I started getting more educated, and this took years, it wasn't like overnight I started learning all of these things, it took years, but the more I started saying, okay, I wanna eat where it's a very earthy diet. I always say that my diet is earthy, where yeah, a few times out of the week, maybe I eat something bad, maybe I have a low calorie, food or something, but for the most part, it's all really good foods, you know, fruits, vegetables, grains. Just kind of taking a mental note and saying to myself, do I want to put these things in my body? Yes or no. The second thing is I do allow myself a glass of wine at night. Summertime is when I do have more wine. It's funny because in the winter, I feel like that's when everyone has wine, like a glass of red and it warms you up. But for me, I love like teas at night in the winter. I love a summer white wine. A Sauvignon Blanc is my favorite. I do buy organic wine, so it's less pesticides. But having that glass of wine doesn't make me feel deprived and it doesn't make me say, okay, I really wanna go out to Mexican because that's usually where we would drink. We would go to Mexican restaurants, get margaritas, get chips, dip, you know, salsa, guacamole, all that kind of stuff, burritos. And then I'm really packing it on. Now, now we'll make a salmon salad for dinner or a nice bowl of some sort and we'll have a glass of wine with our dinner and we don't feel like we're depriving ourselves so it's allowing yourself to have the things you want but in small amounts and then number three it pairs well with number two in that since I don't deprive myself like I talked about in number two and I have my wine if I want the same thing goes in tip number three and if I am going to have something a little bit more sugary like I put maple syrup on my pancakes or if I'm gonna have more butter or if I'm going to have dark chocolate, I do measure it out. Only if I'm going to be having something a little bit more sugary and say it wasn't the super healthiest day, measuring out things that maybe aren't the healthiest, then you'll see that you can have them. Again, it's all about balance, but that you just have to have them in moderation. So number four might not apply to everybody. Again, it has to be something that's easy for you to do in your household. But for me, I try to get everybody on board with what I'm doing. So if... I remember when we first started eating organic fruits and vegetables, Jared was like, I don't think it makes a difference. This was like two or three years ago. He's like, I think, you know, it's just a way for the grocery stores to charge more. And then when I started educating him on why I don't want pesticides in my diet, I started getting him on board. And then the fruits and veggies he would buy would be organic and we would both kind of be on the same page. And we kind of applied that to a lot of things in our life as far as health and wellness go. For him, he's somebody that he really does not do well skipping the gym. He loves to be consistent with his workouts. I actually met my boyfriend at the gym. Jared's actually at the gym right now. Like he loves to work out. That's where he relieves all of his stress. He is in real estate. So there's always stress with that. There's always people calling him. There's always a million problems happening. And he's like, the gym is that one place where I can find that time just to it's me time and I could just pump it out. So for me, how I told him how it was so important for me to eat organic fruits and veggies, he told me that the same thing with the gym. You know, if he has that time blocked out and he's going, I know to not be like, let's just go to a cafe and blow it off. Like, let's just blow off our workout. He's like, no, it's very important to me. So I think that when you express that in your house, like, guys, let's try not to buy the chips or let's try not to buy the unhealthy desserts. Maybe we can make our own. Just try to get everyone on the same page or at least to respect your boundaries. And then my last tip, tip number five. If you watch my channel, you already know it. If you cook at home, you're gonna be able to see the weight just fly off, even if you're not making the healthiest things. If they're healthy within reason, of course, but you're just gonna see it fly off just because they are using so much oils when you go out to dinner or they're adding sugar in sauces and salad dressings that even when you order something healthy, it's still sometimes just as much calories as something that's not healthy. So when you start cooking at home, that's another way you stay consistently healthy because you're making the food and you know what you're putting into it. And it's also fun, like I find joy in it and I'm excited to cook dinner tonight. And for me, that's 100% help with bloating. When I go out to eat, I get so bloated. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Next, I'm going to be sharing my workout routine and I have been super consistent with it. So I'm just really proud of myself. Not as much as the eating healthy, but I'm gonna still share what I've been doing to work out. Burn calories and all that good stuff. So I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Got a sleepy Shih Tzu over there. Have an awesome day and I'll see you guys soon.